take down Tyrant and the Sheriff, at least by all of uh, Yeah. It's not going to be a perfect set of appointments, though. Probably. Under NIH or less. Uh, oh, wait, yeah, wait, wait. wait. And, and, uh, heard about the most recent picks of Trump. Am I overreacting about uh, Chad Cronister? As I'm not sure I know who that is. He's, he's a sheriff out of Florida who has been a very pro uh, lockdown tyrant of a sheriff, at least by all uh, video evidence that currently exists. Uh, he went after a pastor uh, for not following the rules. Let me pull that up. But he's being hired. He was tapped as Chad. What do they call it? The head of the DEA. Yeah, Chad Cronister to lead the DEA. So I don't, what is the D? I mean, I know what the DEA does, but for those who might not know what the DEA does, drug enforcement agency, are they are they purely domestic or do they uh, intermingle with cartels in, in Mexico? Their authority is domestic, but they have they act internationally as well. That doesn't surprise me that much then if he's hiring a hard ass for that side of the op. You're going to see this constant kind of tension between like peace people and really uh, uber tough military types. And I think you'll, you'll see the, the same pattern with law enforcement. In other words, some picks that are designed to ramp up law enforcement in the Homeland Security context, in the drug context, and then efforts to re-examine law enforcement, like in the with the original appointment of Matt Gates, the appointment now or recommend, recommended appointment of Cash Patel and people like that. What we're seeing so far is outside of the Kennedy Gabbard space, where there was a really a well-developed space of people who needed to be in key positions. It's been a little bit hit or miss with the other positions. In March 30, 2020, Florida megachurch pastor arrested for refusing to call off services. And then you got Florida Hill, Florida's Hillsborough County Sheriff Chad Crotister issued a warrant for the arrest of megachurch pastor Rodney Howard Brown on Monday after he refused to cancel his packed services and obey coronavirus social distancing orders. Do you think that that should be disqualifying for the position? Oh, well, I mean, for me it is, but I can see where Trump <laughs> does not see it that way. That, that, that Trump's looking at uh, what does he want to achieve with a particular cabinet office. And so you're seeing it go in very different directions. That confuses some people uh, if, you, if you haven't followed Trump in detail, because it, it's hard to, to bring together the, the sort of the uber macho talk with peace and no new wars. But that's very Trump, and it's a long American tradition of that precise political combination. So you're going to see some tough military types, some tough law enforcement types, some tough security types mixed in with reformers. And the uh, Cash Patel is the clear is the is the one they've settled on. It appears to me uh, on the reform side because Bondi is not really a reformer. She she might turn out to be a pretty good attorney general. I don't know, but she's not known for being a reformer, going in and taking apart corrupt uh, administrative you know, bureaucracies that need to be just completely restructured. That's what the FBI needs. Cash has written about it. He's, you know, worked for the U.S. Department of Justice. For those that don't know his background, as he came into through all this as a staff member for Congressman Devin Nunes. So, Robert, I, I was well, listening. The, I mean, Cash isn't really like if you're at the FBI, you recommend prosecutions, but you don't make prosecutorial decisions. So at the FBI, you're just an invest. You make investigative decisions, but you don't make prosecutorial decisions. That's all done at the Justice Department. Cash Patel was part of the Nunez operation, but you can get you know some backstory with him uh, in uh, Amanda Milius's documentary, "Plot Against the uh, the President." So I highly recommend that. Cash's uh, credentials, he's got. Does he? If he has some business ties to truth, is that going to be a potential conflict for confirmation? No. Uh, and by the way, they were they were anti Russia people, right? They're anti Putin people. They they believe a lot of dumb stereotypes that I don't agree with at all on foreign policy. And yet they're they are still considered intolerable to the DC crowd, which tells you just how nuts that DC crowd is. Nunes, who's not a fan of Russia at all, not a fan of Putin at all, was for harsher policies in ter in terms of Ukraine. Yet when he saw what was going on with Russia he's like this is this is a bogus operation by our own government and other five eyes operate uh, operatives. He just called it like he saw it. Same with Cash Patel. He just called it exactly as he saw it. So it also represents the continued inroads being made in the in the Indian and in the American communities and some other communities. It wouldn't surprise me if at some point, now maybe she wants to do private practice, but somebody else high up in the Justice Department, a potential appointment would be someone like Harmy Dillon. A bunch of good appointments on the health side. One common denominator you're seeing is a lot of people that are from India. You know, Trump did 20 points better with a large number of Asian American groups, depending on where you look in the country, than he did in 2020. So, you know, I think that's also on his mind as to, you know, the, the mix and match of appointments we're going to get. It's not going to be a perfect set of appointments, but it'll probably be the best set of appointments we've had in the modern era. Oh, you actually say Jay Bhattacharya was uh, NIH? Fantastic appointment. Fantastic. Yep. We could finally clean up the entire uh, cesspool of corruption 
that is the public health establishment that depends on their ties to royalties, their ties to working for those private companies when they leave, the ability for the, uh, the, the sort of the co-option and corruption of the entire uh, peer review process for, public, for publication of scientific papers. There's so much reform that needs to be done there that was exposed by what took the you know, ending altogether all the bioweapons research that the U.S. is still involved in to this very day. So that doesn't even get into massive reform in the food supply, massive reform in terms of big agriculture, in terms of our school lunches, in terms of what you get fed at hospitals and what you get what, uh, in the army and the military, et cetera. We need massive reform there as well. So a lot of the appointments, and I think Cash would make a fantastic FBI director, very smart, very thorough. He's a true believer. He's a much more of an idealist than I am about the FBI. I mean, my, my view is much more skeptical. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm skeptical that an agency founded by J. Edgar Hoover could do anything but look like J. Edgar Hoover. But if anybody could try to reform it and restructure it, it would be Cash Patel. And as you say that out loud, and then I sort of feel bad, maybe I'm overreacting. You know, when you get Jay Bhattacharya for NIH, you got RFK Jr. for HHS, and then the ones, the people that were sort of objecting to vehemently, I don't know, would, would you would you consider the Surgeon General to be sort of, from a policy reform perspective, to be under NIH or less? Um, oh, way, yeah, way, way and, below. And, and uh, definitely under HHS. Surgeon General is mostly a PR position in the U.S. government. Okay, interesting. And so maybe it, maybe it's a question of, not sliding in the controversial reformist ones, but diluting them with ones that will placate the Don Lemons of the world. Does Cash have a problem getting confirmed, or will he have a problem getting confirmed? He shouldn't, but you never know. I mean, with this uh, with this group in the Senate, how okay, much are they willing to fight Trump? Are they are they going to try to deny him all of his appointees? Well, I mean, I, I, it seems like well, you never know. And I can understand now that you say it again out loud. DEA, you want law enforcement. I look at DEA and say I want the same reform because I look at the DEA well, and think Waco and think. ATF. My, my own view is you know, DEAs. I'm not for all these federal criminal laws. We'll let local governments take care of most criminal laws. My general view, but within the cab, within the space that we currently occupy at the national political level, that the way Trump sees it, he sees DEA as uh, he wants to crack down on the cartels. So he's going to look for a hard ass and a tough guy rather than somebody. Who uh, you know it shows respect for freedom and liberty to put it <laughs> This guy doesn't. The newest picks: Jay Bhattacharya, absolutely amazing. Cash Patel, absolutely amazing. There are several other in the public health space that are really good. 